We just passed an old gold mine shack, which is pretty neat. It was broke down though. I still find gold out there. People would bury it because there really wasn't banks. So they'd bury it on their property and they'd always bury it in two piles, one real little pile, so that if somebody did come and loot them, they thought they got their hoard and would leave. They'd bury the bigger pile somewhere and it would always be outside their bedroom window where they could see it from their bedroom window. Well, that's pretty Because nighttime would be the time when the people would do it. They just didn't trust the banks or something? Yeah. So that's like 30 years of metal detecting. When I go to old properties and things like that, you try and, if you can see where the layout, you always look wherever the bedroom was, go out there, that's where I'll metal detect. Oh, cool. That's where you find most of the stuff. So if you continue down this road, this is where we're camping, but there's another campsite right on top of that hill right there. It turns flat. We're gonna go check it out. So washboard is where we're turning. It's on 375. Ooh. The view up here, it's really pretty. Oh wow, look at that. I know, isn't that pretty? Ooh. Look at that trail. Where? Going up that other side right there. Oh yeah, way down there. Oh, this road is bumpy. Get to the good camping spots. I know, right? Sometimes you gotta go through it. But the turtle's wearing a hat. Put that back window down. Now there. you see the turtle. Yeah, that's Turtle Rock. Which one? That big rock right there? Yeah, yeah. see, there's the head. Oh, okay. He's wearing a hat, but there's the big rock. He's wearing head. a hat. <laughs> we were down there looking at it. Okay, I see it now. Yeah. There's Turtle Rock. Yeah. Oh. Kinda. They must have been high when naming some of these rocks. Yeah. I think. <laughs> They're like, oh, that kind of looks like a turtle. Let's call it Turtle Rock. So I think we've Look at reached the little it. Snow. It looks more like a rhinoceros or a. <laughs> it has a little. See right there? Yeah, the little um, thing. Put the little horn on there. Oh, oh. Camping for I think we little. have made it. Pit toilets? Oh, yeah, pit toilets. So you said 14 days? Yep. Cool. Right here. Right. Oh, yeah, that is tight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We could get it in, but four mile. Yep, this is the name of it, the four mile Number campsite. Only. Camp only in an existing site. Neat. So, there's plenty of open spaces, that's right. for sure. Down there, it looks like, huh? Yeah, there's some tent camping too going on. Damn, I love tent camping. We're squished up in there. <laughs> campsite 19. I mean, for your Class C's and Scott and Terry's, this would be work. Maybe yeah. Yeah, fun. we could find one like this and pull in. See? I don't know. Y'all are pretty yeah, long. Yeah, but I could cock it. I could fit it in there. Oh, God, look at this. Nobody bumped. The views are definitely Scott, yeah. awesome here. That's where you get to the good spots. Well, there's um, some RVs up here, so. That's a big open space right there. Yeah. <laughs> wow. There. Oh, those aren't RVs. Those are recreational vehicles. Or oh, like, they're, but they're the ones doing this climbing school here. The, yeah. Oh, yeah. They were doing the climbing here. Outdoor education. Yep. Breckenridge. Outdoor education. This is the back side of the hill that they climb. We're on the other side of it. So we're going to see if we can see our campsite over here. This is beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> yep, there's our campsite. See? Yep, right there. Way down there. <laughs> there we are, right there. <laughs> That's way down there. Look at that view. I know the view is stunning up here. So yeah, it's right by the cliff's edge. This is amazing. What? That cave. There's a hideout up there. Oh, there is a cave up there. Ooh. I got my Colorado shoes on and my grippies. There's a cave right there. Might be able to climb it. It's a small cave. I bet some old bank robber hid his loot in there. <laughs> Yeah, the view definitely is amazing up here. Just takes your breath away. Look, I bet the view's even more from that mountain. That's like 14,000 feet elevation. 
Thanks. Just straight down. Yep, I'm just gonna tumble down the hill. This is a pretty big spot, but this is one of the larger spots. They usually don't have them. They're well, mainly small. Yeah. Oh, there's two campsites there. But y'all could probably fit there. And, oh, gee. <laughs> Up, oh, it says no. Oh, no campfires. Not no camp. See, I can clear them rocks and drive right over. Okay, it's close. We're going further up, and look at the view. We're gonna see I'm if there's anything up there. It's my hitch reducer. Found another spot. There's tent campers up here. Wow. Ooh. So, but the road continues up further. Are we going further up? Sure are. Okay. Let's go all the way. <laughs> it's a nice spot. But the road does keep on going. Oh, look at that. that Another tent gorgeous. camper. Look at both views they got. Yeah, I know. It's freaking amazing up here. Although, I don't know about RVs. Yeah. Depends on how small your RV is. If you had a smaller one, it could work. I don't know about larger ones. Yeah, because we're starting to descend. So I think this is the top. Yep. Marmot Peak. Marmot Peak? Marmot. Oh. Like the, the clothing is called Marmot. Oh, okay. So, I think the, the jacket I got, ain't it? Yes. 375 goes to 377. Yeah, Alright, we're going to head back. <laughs> yeah, look at that view. Breathtaking. I wonder what altitude we're at. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. We're probably about 10,000, I would say. Because those those mountains over there are 14. And this isn't, this is just short of those mountains. We're already, we're already like, where are we camping now? I think we're around 6 or 7. Right. So Seth made some yummy pasta. What is this? Yummy pasta supreme. <laughs> I mean, what's in it? I don't know, it's pasta with stuff. Oh, okay. Looks good. Thank you. Okay. Okay, that's good. Oh my god. I'm trying to cut back on all the pasta and stuff. No, stop it. It's just it's you just want me to get fat. It's still coming out though. I know, stop. No, that's oh, good. Oh go. my god. That's like a regular plate of pasta. Uh -huh. That's that is not a that regular. is a regular plate of pasta. Thank you. You chose the plate size. I know, but I didn't choose how much you put in there. That looks good. Thank you. Do you want cheese? Sure. Ah, uh, cheese. <laughs> She's been stuck at base camp all day, so I thought I'd take her for a little evening stroll before it gets dark. Right, Mumu? Bye, base camp. We'll be right back. The sun's already gone past the mountain, so it can't be that long of a walk because I don't want to get stuck in the dark. Look at that view. We're just going to walk a little further right around this corner here. I just want to see what's around the bend. Right, Mumu? You ready? I see the yellow marker signs in the field. That means that's National Forest Land. There's a sign I'm talking about right there. We made it to the curve, but there's another curve up ahead. I'm not sure exactly how far this road goes. It could go on for miles and miles. So we're going to go ahead and turn around because, yes, it is starting to get a bit darker. All right, we're not too far from base camp. Not to mention, I'm not sure what kind of creatures or <laughs> animals are out here. So I definitely don't want to be stuck out here after dark with no flashlight. So, yep, we're heading back. I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me today. Hopefully... We will see you in the next video, but until then, stay safe and onward bound. I love everyone out there. Mwah.